Ask your neighbor, what are you here to do this morning? Ask him again, or uh, she or uh, he or she, are you really doing it? Amen. Give God a big hand for the ministration of the choir this morning. Amen. Now, everything we do in the house of God demands understanding. When we say we have come to thank Him, let's truly thank Him. A perfect example, Luke 17, 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back and with a loud voice, Amen. Amen. With a loud voice, he glorified God. And what more? Verse 16. And he fell down on his face at his feet, giving thanks. Amen. So if you are truly thanking God, it will move you. I see a lot of people just stand still like this. In thanksgiving service, don't let an angel slap you. Amen. You must do something to show that you are grateful. Amen. Listen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If it doesn't move your body, if it doesn't move your head, if it doesn't move your voice, it is not thanksgiving. So in the next one minute, you will do something that shows that you are here to thank God. Over to you. Wave your hand. Jump up. Shout. Give glory to God. Blessed be God forevermore in the name of Jesus. Faithful, faithful, faithful is the Lord. You are faithful, 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 faithful is the Lord. Yes, you are faithful, 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 faithful. Is a Lord faithful, faithful, faithful is the Lord. Sing with me, you are faithful, 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 faithful is the Lord. Yes, you are faithful, 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 faithful is the Lord. Sing faithful, faithful. You are faithful. My God is faithful, 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 oh, faithful, and you are faithful. Yes, Lord, faithful, faithful, sing again at the top of your voice, everybody. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Somebody wave your hand again. Your 
must bless him. Bless the faithful God. I am the Lord, I change yet not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not present. Yes, Lord. can lift up your two hands with me heavenly father we rejoice in you we celebrate your faithfulness receive our thanks in jesus wonderful name and all the saints of god in the house make your amen louder move around your neighbors congratulations for saying the end of this month i thank god for you I share your neighbors. I thank God that you are alive and well. I thank God that you are rejoicing in God's presence today. Glory to God. I can see somebody shouting to the Lord right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Please get seated. Praise the Lord. I'm more than a conqueror. Congratulations. What a joy to have each and every one of us wonderful winners in god's presence this morning celebrating the faithfulness of god upon our lives yes i know you want to clap for the lord some more do that quickly it's worthy of our praise god who has enabled you to see the end of february 2022 will make you see the end of december 2022 in the name of jesus for coming to give thanks to god today there shall be perfection for you. Amen. Be reminded that the prophetic focus for this month is faith secures fulfillment of prophecies. There is no future in prophecies without faith. Luke 1 45 Blessed is she that believes. For there shall be performance of those things which were told her by the mouth of the Lord. Our teaching series for the month, this being the last part four to be very specific, is engaging the power of faith for fulfillment of prophecies. How much you engage faith determines how much of prophecy you see fulfilled prophecy is extensive prophecies are unlimited in effect your faith is the attraction to the different measure of prophecy that we see where your faith stops is where the effect of prophecy stops limited faith will result into limited fulfillment of prophecy when faith is unlimited fulfillment or manifestation of prophecies becomes unlimited god who gave the prophecy is unlimited so keep extending your faith keep exhibiting your faith keep manifesting your faith keep engaging your faith to see prophecies fulfilled this year you are more than a conqueror amen, amen is an intention of faith this year you are more than a conqueror amen. very shortly you will not only share testimony you will become an embodiment of testimony <laughs> by the way what is prophecy prophecy simply put 
the words that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Luke 1 45. Blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. So anything you hear from God is a word of prophecy, is a word into your future. There are three platforms basically by which we receive prophecy number one is the book the bible the bible is book of prophecies second peter chapter 1 verses 19 to 21 the book of prophecy we have also a more sure word of prophecy it is sure it cannot change what is written is written what is spoken by a man may be subject to argument but what is written is written psalm 12 verse 6 the word of the lord has been tried they are pure words what makes it pure it has been tried it has been tried all impurities have been removed from it what you have here are pure words purified seven times it has been tried it has been proven that's the meaning every word you hold on to in scriptures is surely come to pass by his stripes you are healed that's a more sure word of prophecy it will make you head and not the tail that's a more sure word of prophecy you can take it and walk with it you shall be above only and not beneath you shall lend always and not borrow it's coming to pass in your life number two way by which we receive prophecy is by a direct personal encounter god coming down to you there are individuals here this week you will walk on red carpet honor and beauty shall be your portion this week now how powerful are prophecies please note because prophecies proceeds from the lord they are as powerful as god himself so when we talk about how powerful prophecies are we are talking about how powerful the source is and that source is god how powerful is the one who gave us the prophecies and number one the power of prophecy is according to god's creative power hebrews 11 verse 3 by faith we understand that the world were framed or created by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made or created of things which do appear what does that mean from zero to surplus from nothing to everything so prophecy when you hear it has the capacity to bring to pass what is being spoken about i believe most of us had the testimony this morning a woman was told after surgery after all of that you can never have a child again then she came to church and heard about the creative power of the world i didn't know her no hand was laid on her there is no anointed hand that is as powerful as the word of god no stop looking for my hand to be laid on you receive the creative word of god 
When I say you are pregnant, you are pregnant. <laughs> Hallelujah. From that creative word of God, she became pregnant. After a professor of gynecology told her, forget it, you can't have a child. The creative word of God. Now, please listen to this. Doctors are body mechanics. Just like you have car mechanics. They are not manufacturers. When a car is accidented and you take it to mechanic and mechanic said this is beyond repairs. What do you do? You go to the manufacturer and get the parts that cannot be repaired to be manufactured and replaced. There is, there is car repair and there is car replacement. There are parts, body part repairers. Those are doctors. But the things they cannot repair, we carry them to the manufacturer for replacement, for recalibration, for readjustment. That's what he does. Now, do you allow your mechanic to waste your time when he says your car cannot be repaired? Why waste your time when a doctor told you that you cannot have a child? Go to the one who can put it in order. So she came to God and the creative power of the word of God the creative power of the word of God. God has given power to men to help in medicine or the fields of life. But he has also limited them. He has limited them that there are realms they cannot enter into so that they can know that God is God. Say loud amen. The creative power of God. We also had the testimony this morning. A woman was told she had ruptured, uh, you know, uh, uh, intestine, uh, the urination, you know, uh, platform, ruptured, and all of that. And they told her, you cannot be pregnant again until after 10 years. After 10 years. Perhaps she will have entered. Uh, monopause or octopus or something pause <laughs> she got back and conceived immediately immediately and after she delivered they checked what was said to be wrong before the second conception and they couldn't find it again the replacer had replaced everything I don't know what's said to be wrong with you right now as I'm speaking right now as I'm speaking as I'm speaking as I'm speaking the creative power of God is at work right now that cancer will not be found again that strange disease will not be found again now listen to this get back to your doctor this week I say get back there go back to your doctors this week tell them you had God told you that that stranger is no longer there how in the beginning Genesis chapter 1 God created heaven and heart where did he begin from verse 2 the heart was without form Darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, From nothing, let there be something. From darkness, let there be light. From emptiness, let there be fullness. 
Lazarus was dead already rotten and stinky John 11 39 to 44 and Jesus said hey Lazarus come forth and he that was dead came back came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face was bound about with a napkin and Jesus said loose him and let him go I command that everyone bound by the devil be loosed and let go go back for your test this week they will tell you the stranger is no more there I'm calling for the things which be not as though they were in your life the disciples of Jesus couldn't catch fish despite their expertise John 21 5 6 and Jesus said do you have meat they said no we don't have meat he said look cast your net on the right side as soon as the fishes heard cast your net because they must obey Shoo, they began to speed they struggled to enter the net now listen to me the things you have been struggling to get will struggle to reach out to you this way have struggled to get will struggle to reach you this week as I'm speaking right now they are already looking for your address as I speak right now they are looking for how to locate you they are looking for your bank account right now they are looking for your shop address right now amen Number two, how powerful are prophecies? Prophecies are according to God's unlimited resources. Unlimited resources. Romans 4, I mean, Psalm 24, verse 1. The heart is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. This is beyond any nation economy. This is above the budget of any nation. See beyond the government of your nation. See God. The heart belongs to him. That's the one who gave you the world. He can bring it forth from anywhere. Agai 3 or 2. Agai chapter 2 verse 3 to 8 Silver is mine And gold is mine If you take it down the line To save time The silver Is mine The gold is mine What you are going to look for From a bank God says it is mine Go to God instead of going through the bank There are people so conscious of bank Any project they want to do I'll talk to my banker yeah my banker I talk, the last time i spoke to them they gave me one billion i'm going to my bank you don't hear them say i'm going to my god and why not so god say i leave you to your banker go and meet your banker your oppressor they will tax you they will charge you interest go and meet them and here is god waiting relax to give to you more than you need and god is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things you may have sufficiency of all things that's why this church has never borrowed and will never borrow yet we never lack yet we never lack according to his abundance so my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus say loud amen, amen. <laughs> so my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory now for those of you who rely on your salary you are cheating yourself too much salaries are paid at the end of each month but God daily 
loaded us with benefits daily. Say with me daily. Do you believe it? From now, you'll be getting daily blessed. Am I the one who says so? Look at it. Read this yourself. Read now, everybody. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. So, load of blessing is contained in salvation. Daily load, load. Kunsan Kaya Kwa? Kaya? Eh? Bakufa Intaba? Daily load. Adore Moku Kaya? Daily. Daily. The Dandoko? Suna Bim Bayanka? Daily. 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 Not end of the month salary. You want anything, you will tell people at the end of the month. At the end of the month. That's salary. At the end of the month. Give us this day our daily bread. They were gathering every day. Exodus 16:4. They were gathering every day. Every day. God said, I will send bread for you from heaven. People will gather certain rate every day, every day, every day. And this your God don't joke with him. Say loud, amen. <laughs> but how does faith facilitate prophecies, fulfillment of prophecy? Listen to this very well. Faith helps you to hold on. To the end faith does not only move prophecy but sustains you to till you see prophecy fulfilled habakkuk chapter 2 from verses 1 to 4 but verse 3 and 4 very specifically for the vision or the prophecy is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak at the beginning it may not speak but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it stays for a while faith will help you to wait for it because it will surely come to pass it will not tarry verse 4 therefore the just shall live by his faith the faith that stood. so faith stays on even when you have been mocked Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 We are not of them That turn back Now the church shall live by faith But if any man draw back My soul shall have no pleasure of him He said but we are not of them That turn who draw back unto God Faith keeps you so consistent That you are not thinking of going back That's what faith does That was what sustained Abraham he staggered not at the promise of God, but he was strong in the faith until Isaac arrived. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 21. 21 specifically said, being fully persuaded. Faith persuades you to wait. You want to stop, but faith won't let you stop. Crazy. Faith makes you crazy. Even when things seem not to be working. What more? Faith makes you confident in the validity of the prophetic word. Again, Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 to 36. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has a great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. Faith enables you to be patient even after you have done everything. Sometimes you ask, I have given my offering, I paid my tithe. Yet things are not working. Faith tells you, wait. Faith gives you confidence. Faith infuses into the believer confidence. Not confidence in the flesh, but in the Lord. According to Philippians chapter 3, verse 3, Psalm 121, 25, verse 1 to 3. What more? 
faith makes you remain at peace with God and within yourself faith makes you remain at peace with God and within yourself Exodus 14 14 hold your peace the Lord shall fight for you hold your peace God is at work hold your peace that's the meaning Psalm 46 verse 10 be still and know that I am a God Isaiah 26 verse 3 he will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him the peace of God that passes all understanding shall fill your heart and your mind Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 God goes or faith goes to work when we go to rest faith will keep you restful that God is at work Mark 4 26 to 28 now faith makes you to continue to rejoice in spite of what is happening to the contrary faith makes you to keep rejoicing Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 and 18 Joel chapter 1 verse 12 Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 who for the joy that was set before him he was carrying the cross the heavy cross was pushing him down but he will not give up for the joy that was set before him he was excited they were mocking him he was saying glory women were crying for him jesus said hey stop weeping for me weep for your children they are the ones who don't know where they're heading for i can see a bright future amen <laughs> god is a good god i declare that your faith will stand in the name of jesus on this covenant day of fruitfulness i see nothing stopping your fruitfulness everyone who has come with their baby items place it on the floor before you and if you have anything that has been dying or has remained unfruitful your certificate nothing seems to be moving put it down your cv your id card watch it as we proclaim the word on fruitfulness now let's quickly take a few insight on the subject of fruitfulness because insight which we call revelation determines the outcome of your life number one as God's creation we are ordained to be fruitful Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 28 and God said somebody say with me I am God's creation please let me hear you very well okay help me ask your neighbor who are you what is he answering look at the scripture that validates it and God said let us make man how let us let us create him in our image I am God's creation after our likeness and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea and all of that and all of that and verse 28 and God blessed them who did he bless the ones he created so if you are God's creation you are God blessed if you are God created you are what God blessed if you are God created you are what God bless let us create men anyway. and he blessed them and specifically he said he prophesied he released upon them by saying be just like he said let there be light he said let him her be fruitful 
and multiply that means have as much as many as you want to have and replenish the heart and subdue it i have have dominion please listen fruitfulness is word created not span or womb formed fruitfulness is not a product of spam or ovaries it is god and word created listen spam ovaries and others are biological processes they are biological processes they are science scientific steps but the actual creation is genesis 1 26 let us make man in our image and he said be now so in case the biological process fails and it does a lot of times that's why we have heard of women who didn't have ovary some didn't have womb yet they delivered their babies how genesis 1 26 came to play biology science may fail but what creation does not fail say loud amen. amen now seated here amongst us are men who are said not to have spam count or empty spam count do i have some here this morning huh? yet i saw one of uh, uh, ccu members two of them last two sundays one of them already have three children from low spam count low spam count zero spam count three solid children one two three one after the other running Fruitfulness is what created. So as I'm speaking the word to you now, your miracle fruitfulness is being created. Otherwise, how do you explain? Chapter 1 of Luke, verse 30. Mary, thou art highly favored. The word came. The word, the word. And the angel of the God, the angel said, 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 brought a word unto her. Fear not Mary, for thou hast found favor. And what was the favor? Verse 31. Behold, as I'm speaking, thou shalt conceive in your womb and bring forth his, his, his son and shall call his name Jesus. That means it's concluded. You will, that is, this is the name of the child that's on the way coming. So you can start naming your child. Say loud, amen. amen. And verse 34, verse 35. How shall this be specifically? Because I have not met with a man for the biological process. The angel says, Shut up. A word from the Lord does not require explanation. The Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Number one. Remember, at creation in Genesis chapter 1, the Spirit moved. And the power of the highest, and what is that power? The word of God shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also, that only thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, hey, let it be unto me according to your word. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Fruitfulness is part of covenant package. Leviticus chapter 26 verse 9. God said, and I will have respect unto you. And make you fruitful and multiply you. And establish my covenant with you. So it's a covenant product. And you are a covenant child of God. Ah, you are bound to be fruitful 
I say you are bound to be fruitful. As I'm speaking, you are bound to be fruitful. Say with me, I am a covenant child of God. I am bound to be fruitful. We are redeemed to be fruitful. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 14. Thou shalt be blessed moderately, averagely. Is that what the word says? Above. Say with me, above. Above all people. And specifically, there shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. Say loud, amen. A cow was brought to my house, I think about three or four years ago. And the man who brought the cow said, this cow has been with us for a long time. It, it has not born a baby and cannot. But once it entered into my house, before they slaughtered it, it delivered four babies. Four babies. And just yesterday I was told that the first baby has also delivered in my house. Even your cattle. Your tolo tolo. Your chicken. Your rabbit. Shall not be bad. Now, if God so care for your cattle, how much more will he care for you? It's a covenant. Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. It's a covenant. It's a covenant. If you be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and hears according to the promise. Good news. Our father is a baby maker. You will never be a baby beggar again. Somebody's amen be very loud right now. Psalm 100 verse 3. We are made by him. It is he that has made us. He made us. And he made us beautifully and wonderfully. Psalm 139 verse 14. He made us wonderfully, marvelously, fearfully Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 3 before I formed you I knew you so fruitfulness is our heritage in Christ heritage means something that has been kept for you till you grow up and delivered eventually Psalm 127 verses 1 and 2 praise ye, I mean, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, the abuse, except the Lord keep it, the city, the watchmen wake up and in vain. It is vain for you to wake, to, to wake up early and to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrow. He giveth his beloved seed. Verse 3, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 to 14, Christ redeemed us to connect us to that promise. Finally, what are the keys to fruitfulness listen to this the provision is there but what are you to do to assess the provision number one and principally engage in serving god serving god exodus 23 25 26 you shall serve the lord your god he will bless your bread and your water he will take sickness away from the meat of thee there shall nothing or no one cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of your days I will fulfill. I declare by this word, no one under the sound of my voice shall cast their young again. No more miscarriage for anyone in this assembly. I thought you are saying a very loud amen. Everyone here standing in the gap for your family members. There shall be no story of miscarriage again in all your generations. Serve. 
serving God, soul winning, prayer, intercession, and serving in hospitality, catering for other people's need in your neighborhood, because you may entertain an angel without you knowing it. Abraham and Sarah did. Genesis chapter 18, verses 9 to 14. They saw an angel. They didn't know it was an angel. They were always hospitable. Their house was open to people of all kinds. Don't shut your door against the needs of people. You may not know it's an angel. They entertained an angel without knowing according to scriptures. According to Hebrews, it's a give room to hospitality. He said, because by so doing, some have entertained angels without knowing. They have entertained angels without knowing. Hebrews 13, 2. Forget not. Remember them. I mean, uh, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby some have entertained angels unawares. There are people that God may send your way. You are paying somebody children's school fees. You are giving food to somebody who is in, in the need. You don't know. Abraham and Sarah did. The Shunammite woman did. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 9 to 17. They were respectful to the prophet Elijah. To the extent that they even built a house for him. And as Elisha stood at the door when he woke up one day. He said, call that woman for me. Woman, what do you need? She said, no, I don't have any need. I'm just all right. And Elisha's servant said, hey, this woman has a need for child. And quickly, he said, by this time, according to the time of life, you shall conceive and bring forth your child. And it came to pass, nine months after, she brought forth. She served away into fruitfulness say loud amen. amen number two stay planted in the house of god be a church person a church person psalm 92 verses 12 to 15 the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree you can never end your life wasted being in the house of god he shall grow like a cedar river on those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. Say loud, amen, if you believe. Amen. Number three, be joyful, rejoicing. It's a spiritual requirement for fruitfulness. After Hannah prayed, from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 13 to 19, verse 19. After she had prayed, she worshipped the Lord and returned back to her house. She turned everything around. She ate her bread and her countenance was no more longer sad. Verses 18 and 19, and God remembered her. Abraham and Sarah were full of joy. They were giving glory to God. Romans chapter 4, 17 to 20. And finally, keys to fulfillment. Engage in word practice for all round fulfillment, fruitfulness, all round fruitfulness. Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the godly, that standeth not in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the word of the Lord, and in the Lord does it maintain their night. As he continues to practice the word, he shall be like a tree planted by the waters that bringeth forth his fruit, he will be fruitful in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Be a word practitioner. Psalm 112, verses 1 to 3. Praise the Lord, blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted great in his commandment. His seed shall be mighty upon the heart, the generation of the opera shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. He will be prosperous. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 and 2, and verse 11. Shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God to observe and to do all his commandments that which I commanded this day that the, the Lord thy God shall set you on high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God and what are they the Lord shall make thee plenteous in good say loud amen, amen. 
in the fruit of your body in the fruit of your cattle in the fruit of your ground in the land which the Lord thy God shall swear unto thy father so you see fruitfulness is beyond the womb the fruit of your body the fruit of your land the fruit of your cattle the fruit all you do shall be fruitful from today I declare you fruitful give God a big hand everybody amen fruitfulness begins with regeneration every animal carries gene 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 so are we we are God's genes we have his genes at creation but sin destroyed that gene that's why when you are born again you are regened you are regened you are a new generation what does that mean until you are born again you cannot be fruitful again salvation is key to fruitfulness wherever you are seated this morning my wonderful friends brothers and sisters you truly know you are not born again you truly know that there is a gap between you and god you truly know that if jesus comes now you are not sure of going to heaven you truly know that you are living in sin don't pretend there is no time for pretense there is no room for pretense be sincere open up your heart to god let him save you this morning wherever you are seated now is your time of salvation don't say later shall we pray together you want to give your life to jesus you want to be born again stand to your feet please let's pray together i know you will i know you will not remain as an hypocrite i know you will not deceive yourself you may have been coming to this church before now or you are coming for the first time today i want to give my life to jesus stand to your feet and immediately pick your bible your cap whatever you came to church with start coming to the altar let me see your face i'll be delighted that you come close here so we can pray together don't leave anything you came to church with behind come quickly church won't you join me to appreciate god for touching people's lives come on quickly if you are coming hasten your step hasten your step god is in a hurry to save you god is in a hurry to touch you church a bigger hand for the lord as we receive them right now god bless you my young friends all of my young friends quickly come right now young people young people this is the best time to surrender your life to jesus this is the best time to run away from the devil this is the best time to run your life for jesus let jesus take over your life oh my god some are still standing up i thought the church would be cheerful before the lord right now show your cheerfulness before the lord quickly some individuals are still seated i don't know why you are still seated it's not the pastor calling you it is jesus calling you say yes to jesus right now somebody's mind is going this way and that way even as i speak right now should i go should i not go how can god your creator be calling you and you are asking should i go should i not go man don't miss this chance the almighty is calling you if a politician calls you now to give you money you run down there the almighty who has everything in mind i'm talking to five more people who are seated you are looking at me now you know you are the one i'm talking to stand up right now and come and come there is room for you quickly come quickly come now as we expect others to come all of us my wonderful friends here this morning will you bow your head please and put your right hand on your heart and pray this prayer with me loudly pray with me loudly now say with me lord jesus good a bit louder lord jesus have mercy on me save me give me new life deliver me from the power of sin and from the power of the devil and from the spirit of this world give me salvation give me joy and peace from now i declare that jesus christ is my lord 
and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. I'm now a child of God. I receive God's power to go and say no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Please open your eyes. God bless you mightily. It's a decision you have made. You will never regret it in Jesus' name. From the middle this way to my right and to my left, please follow the officials beckoning to you. God bless you. A big hand for the Lord Church. Hallelujah. Amen. Please don't fail to get the books of the month to get yourself powerfully inspired and keep enjoying the blessing of the Lord. Remember, next Sunday, great time in God's presence, we'll be having um, business and career breakthroughs. Amen. Your career and business must enter into new realms. All of these programs we are putting together is to bring effect to your prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year so that you can just continue to enjoy and flow in the fulfillment of prophecy. Say with me again, this year I am more than a conqueror. So, get ready for next Sunday. It will also be our first Sunday in the month. Great prophetic service setting the pace for the month. Meanwhile, week of spiritual emphasis is coming up from Wednesday to Friday. Three solid days of fasting. You know, you are spared in February. So now you need to resume the three days back. Ask your neighbor, you did ready so? What in talk? Uh -huh. Yeah, you are ready. I know you are more than ready. So let's get ready for it. We'll be take it serious in order to take make it glorious. This new month of March shall be a month of marching forward for you. Covenant hour of prayer every morning, 5:30 to 6:30. And on Tuesday, the first day of the month. We'll be having the prophetic trumpet service i know you are set for it god bless you in jesus name rise to your feet with me as we round up the service right now shout it again i'm more than a conqueror i am fruitful amen now we'll be praying right now but for those of us worshiping in this church for the very first time would like your prayer to be special and how will it be special you come to the altar to receive it direct over and over again people who come to the church for the first time they receive strange miracles and i want it to be your portion right now so if today's your first day worshiping in this church quickly find your way to the altar here meanwhile everybody in the assembly lift up your hands if you have your point of contact lift it up as well and begin to declare very profusely i am fruitful very profusely don't keep quiet god said so say it right now oh don't mind who's listening to you don't let your neighbor hinder you from saying what you should say say it loudly say it profusely the works of my hands are fruitful my cattle is fruitful my body is fruitful no more miscarriage for me nor for my family members are there family members of yours who have been married over the years declare them fruitful declare them fruitful are there your family members who have been having miscarriages declare that miscarriages have come to an end are there medical complications in the process in your body begin to declare body behave body respond are there things you have told you can never work in your body begin to create it right now begin to create them right now begin to create them right now raise your voice don't keep quiet god said god proclaimed and what he proclaimed is all make your proclamation right now make your proclamation right now thank you mighty father in jesus precious name amen <laughs> you know it is not the volume of what's being spoken no the man who came to jesus said speak the word only and jesus said take it right now and that was it so i'll be speaking few words over you this morning god didn't speak many words uh, let there be you know uh, let there be ovary let there be spam let there be you know stomach let there be belly let there be womb mm -mm. be fruitful one word be fruitful every complication is taken out of the way every handwriting of evil against you is cancelled negative medical report is nullified 
be fruitful now. Sicknesses and diseases disappear right now. Go from here, you are blessed. All of our first time worshippers, we are so delighted to have you here with us this morning. We know God brought you to bless you. And I can see it on your face, you're already smiling because I know God has blessed you. Remain here with us, join us at the midweek service, join us also next Sunday to receive more of the blessing of God. You are specially welcome in Jesus' name. Will you please go with our church officials to my right and to my left. And as they go, church, wave to them and tell them we love you. Amen. Lift up your hand one more time. This week is sanctified for you. One day remaining before the week will run, before the month will run out. The one day remaining will be to you like 27 days of this month. You will testify in Jesus' precious name. Look at your neighbor and bless him or her with the goodness of the Lord. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm more than a conqueror.